Mayor? Caught in a rain shower. Yeah. Do you like it? No. Uh, yeah. You don't seem too sure. Go. I don't. Yeah. You want to go up there, Merrick? Yeah. Okay, we'll wait here for you. Go ahead. Wait, seriously? No. Why? You've got a half hour to get up there. Then we're leaving. So hurry up. That literally is not even far away. There's the tarn. We're heading up Citadel Pass. Look at how amazingly beautiful it is. This is one of the nicest views in I the Rockies. I could buy a cabin, a TV, my phone, and your friend. Come on. of the famous Citadel Pass. Assiniboine is in the clouds right now. You can sort of see the bottom of it in the clouds. Can't see the rest. Amazing. Kids wanted to go down and see the Citadel Pass line. Lake Magog. Dad, where's Magog? Can you please read this? Who's it? You are here. Dad, where's Magog? Mm -hmm. I can't see him anywhere. Well, this is Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park. <laughs> There's the Assiniboine Lodge. They don't actually have the lake on there. So we're going there. That's unusual. I guess because it's outside of Banff and it's in Mount Assiniboine Provincial it's Park. Banff's right here. Yeah. Well, were they yellow last time you went through here in September? Here? Dactyl peeing? No, why can't you hear 
a pterodactyl going to the bathroom because the P is silent. Oh, that totally makes sense. People coming. Is this on, Amelia? Yep. Is it recording? Yes. How do you know? Because it says 28, 29, 30. Oh, great. Look at that view. Daddy? Yeah? Why do people eat itchy bands? Because it's light. No, to solve their itchy band problems. Oh, funny. Where are we, guys? Pee pee. We're at the, just past the junction between Porcupine and Og. Right? Yeah, lunch stop. Lunch stop. Merrick, stop that. Don't cut it out. <laughs> Don't cut that out either, or that. Wow. Guys, there's a glacier up there. There is, oh, there is. Look at that. Wow, is that a waterfall over there? Yep. There's a waterfall, you guys. Waterfall in a glacier. That's the one we see from down low, too. And we hike through that valley. See way down in that valley? Yeah, we yeah. We come all the way down mm -hmm. that, and then we come back up here. That's porcupine down there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, porcupine's way back there. Yeah, but that's the valley. Yeah. You guys need to be really careful here. You see that? Look at that's pretty steep. You roll for a long ways down there. Hopefully that rock is nice and solid. What do you think? Looks I like, like water. some pieces broke off. Pieces broke off of that rock. Pieces broke off of it, they're down there. What do you think, Merrick? Dad? Yeah. If a thousand meters is one kilometer, yep. then it doesn't really sound like much, does it? No, it's like a thousand steps. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like 2,000 for Merrick. Look at this boulder field. I think it's a good place to stop, really. And you go for some. Yeah. Thank you. Dad? Yeah. Oh. Wait, what is that? That's a gopher hole. Can you just go up? Good job. Right Thank behind us. Got, so don't stop. That's a lot of rain coming. Pretty much like the rain from this morning.
Well, it's pouring rain here at Og Lake near Mount Assiniboine. That's the lake there. We're under the tarp. Hey, stop! It's the only safe place. The tent is set up, but Can it's I soaking wet. What do you think, Ghost? Well, we just sent finished setting up the tarp in the rain. It's just starting to stop and the Cinnaboins come out. This is Og Lake. What do we got going underneath the tarp here? Dad? Uh-huh. Merrick just farted in your chair. Thanks, we Merrick. Have dry was... socks and booties going on. Come on, Merrick. Over here, we have our tent set up, also set up half in the rain. Well, I hope this works because I can't find my cleaner for my lens. It looks kind of dirty. But that's a Cinnaboyne. And we're at Lake Magog, or Magog Lake. No, Og. Sorry. Losing my mind. I'm at Og Lake. Magog is over by Cinnaboy. <laughs> We're going there tomorrow. What a rough day. We came from Howard Douglas Lake with the kids, and it was 16 kilometers, but I have a lot of weight in my pack because I've got food for six or four people for six days. And my back feels like it's going to break off. My knees are just so sore. My feet, my shoulders, I'm just really sore. But uh, glad to be here. We're at Og. And Assiniboine is just beautiful over there. You can see all the glaciers and everything. It just finished raining. We're totally soaked. We got the tarp up after the rain started again. When we, we walked here in the rain for the last three and a half kilometers. It was raining, it was thundering, it was lightning. Oh. And uh, last three and a half K, that's what we walked in. And then as soon as we got here, it stopped raining for like maybe 10 minutes. We tried to throw the tent up and I got the kids into some dry, warm clothes. And then it started to rain and then I threw the tarp up real fast. And they're both underneath the tarp in our chairs and I'm gonna go set up all of our uh, sleeping bags and sleeping pads because they say that they're so tired they just want to go in them right now they're eating all their snacks they're eating chips and uh, cheesies oh, goldfish <laughs> we're gonna be eating full meals for lunches because they're eating all their snacks right now they're so hungry 17 kilometers they're just troopers my kids are 11 and 8, and they're just amazing. Amazing kids. Oh, yeah, what a beautiful lake. Just epic. Hey kids, what are you doing in there? You want a goldfish for some? Nobody got one. It's our big Agnes tent. Another goldfish for. So good. This is the same spot I had with my friend Margot last year, and it's a good spot because it's like one of the only spots that actually has tall enough trees to put a tarp. Tarps in the same spot that our tarp was last year. That Dyneema tarp from Hyperlate is just awesome. It's just big enough for four people and a dog to hunker under there. Yeah. Dog is under there too, he's eating. Yeah. Where are you, ghost? I think you already know the ability. Where are you, buddy? Yeah. What is it? There he is. The ability is a Ghost? Yeah. You 
leave the kids alone. You eat your own food. You don't need their snacks. He's not bugging us. Okay, good. He is bugging me. <laughs> eat your food. You eat it? He carried his own food and his own tent and his own mat all the way here in his uh, rough wear Palisades pack. Those things are awesome. Just wish they had a rain cover. That would be awesome. Rough wear, if you're listening, make a rain cover for that Palisades pack or even better, make it out of Dyneema or out of Eco Pack and then it would be rainproof and we wouldn't have to put a cover on it. Then it'd be lighter too. What is he doing? Ian opened this for me. Step Amelia. Up.